Song of Shadows, the last one. Song of Shadows goes in. All set. And away they go to a perfect start. House of Magic flies out the gate and goes to the lead. Song of Shadows in second. Pink Ice in the white cap at the rail. Quick like a bunny on the far side. Blonde Bombshell last seven off them. They run to the half mile and House of Magic very quick leads it by two lengths. Here comes Pink Ice through at the rail now. Pink Ice takes second. Song of Shadows right there third. Blonde Bombshell still seven off the leader and then quick like a bunny. They run to the three-eighths pole and House of Magic goes on, leads it by a length and a half. Pink Eye starts to chase from second. Then it is Song of Shadows and a big gap of five to Blonde Bombshell. They come to the quarter pole. House of Magic taken on by Pink Ice. These are the two that come to dispute it with a quarter of a mile to go. House of Magic hanging on at the rail. Pink Ice now right up alongside these two. Stride for home, stride for stride now. House of Magic on the inside. Digs deep, finds more. Pink Ice right up alongside, stretching her every yard of the way. House of Magic hanging on. Now here's Pink Ice with a late, late run. And Pink Ice coming at House of Magic. Magic and Pink Eyes got up to beat House of Magic. Song of Shadows finished third and then Blonde Bombshell. The unofficial result, winner number two, Pink Ice. Second number six, House of Magic. Third number four, Song of Shadows. Fourth number one, Blonde Bombshell. Entering the winner's circle, number two, Pink Ice. She's a three-year-old bay filly by Aconite out of Poe Bow. She's owned by Flurry Racing Stables. Winning trainers, Phil D'Amato. The winning rider, Ramon Vasquez. The winner was bred in Kentucky by the Calumet Farm. The result is official. In the second race, number two, Fact or Fiction, now ridden by Armando Aguilar. Scratch the eight, Nurkan. 